welcome to the next episode of Dads Can Cook. Today we are doing a pimped up hummus or a, a loaded hummus. Uh, the hummus recipe is from Karen Fedorko from Seesong, who is a wonderful partner of ours in Turkey, a tour operator in Turkey. Hello Karen. And what I'm going to do to it is I'm going to basically make the hummus into a whole meal. So it's going to happen in three steps. So what I did is I soaked my own chickpeas uh, for about eight hours. And then what I'm doing now, they need another 20 minutes. I'm boiling them or simmering them. Um, you can use um, canned chickpeas, but I'm using raw chickpeas. I'll get to the hummus recipe later, but what I'm going to do is prep some vegetables in the oven and that's gonna be some of the topping on the hummus. So I've diced up half a eggplant, a zucchini, and a good little bit of cauliflower. And all I'm gonna do as our first step today is take that. Now I've got some spices here. I've got some, a teaspoon of paprika, teaspoon of cumin, um, a little bit of cayenne pepper, I've got some coriander seeds ground and I've got a little bit of cinnamon and I'm going to put them in there and I'm going to get some olive oil and I'm just going to put a good splash of olive oil in the bowl uh, and some salt, a good amount of salt. So that's the first stage, I'll just get a spoon. That's the first stage of the recipe and I'm going to there we go, thank you. Lauren's on camera today. Uh, Kate decided to have a day off. So Lauren is making her debut um, as camera person. So there you go. So a bit of that, and I'm just gonna get a baking tray by the line. And I'm gonna put that on the baking tray. I'm gonna put that in the oven for 180 degrees for about half an hour and we'll come back. The next stage of the recipe is I'm going to fry off some beef mince and with some spices and then we're going to make the hummus and then we're going to dress a hummus plate in my pimped up hummus and we'll be back. Bye. Hi everyone. So the vegetables have been in the oven for about 20 minutes now. We're going to keep them going. I'm now going to start on the uh, beef and then we'll make the hummus and then we'll put it all together. I'm drinking a gin and tonic with a gin from Tasmania, 40 spotted Australian citrus gin. With some fever tree uh, tonic water, it's wonderful. So Lauren, come over to the stove with me, how's that? So we're just going to fry off the beef. I'm just gonna put the olive oil in there. Um, and then we're gonna put the beef in there and then we'll just put a few spices in there. Um, we're gonna fry that off. So again, you can use lamb mince with this. I just had some beef mince um, with me. You can see also here, Lauren, my chickpeas are still on the stove. That's been about 40 minutes. And basically you wait until they're, they sort of crush in your hands. So they're nearly ready. You see, they're nearly ready. Okay. So, here I am. I'm going to cook that beef off. Can fry it. I'm going to put some herbs, uh, spices, not herbs. I'm going to put a bit of cumin also in there. Probably about a teaspoon there. A bit of uh, paprika. Just a little bit. That's, that are all the spices that I'm going to put in there because the rest of the dish has got a lot of spices. Um, so I'm going to cook that up. So it's reasonably, reasonably um, plain. Not too many spices in that. So then, while that's cooking off, 
I think, Lauren, we should get started on the hummus. So how about you stop and then we'll start again in a minute. Before I make the hummus, I'm going to toast off some uh, pine nuts. So I'm just going to put them in a saucepan and toast them off. I forgot to do that before. Okay, so the hummus. So I'm going to get my cup measure. I'm pretty rough on this, so I don't really use a strict recipe. I am using Karen's recipe as a guide. So you're going to use, th I'm going to use three cooked cups of these, um, of the chickpeas. I'm then going to put about two thirds of a cup of tahini. That'll do for the time being. A juice of one lemon. Okay, um, that's good. A couple of garlic cloves. And I'm going to use it up. Okay, so the other thing I'm going to do is I kept some of the water that I cooked the chickpeas in. So I'm just going to put a bit of the water in there. And this is going to be yum. So, I'm just pushing that up. Don't forget my pine nuts that I am posting off. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay. I need some more juice of lemon. In there. I'm also going to put a little bit more tahini. So again, I do it to taste, but that's sort of a base. I'll put it. I'll put the recipe down below in the video for those. Need that. I'm also going to put in a little bit more garlic because I like garlic. A little bit more of the juice, the water. Okay, we've got we've got take off here, and importantly. I'll put some salt. I have no idea what my salt is. Here we go. Okay. Also put a bit of olive oil. Alright. Oh. Unbelievable. See, so here we go. We're going to put some of the hummus on the plate. Yum. <clears throat> so you can cover the plate like that. Yeah, what's that? There's your hummus on that. I'm going to go get my veggies. I had previously veggies on top like that so that was the zucchini eggplant and cauliflower with the spice mix whoops try not to get too much on the floor like I do so there you go there's a bit of that then I'm going to get my beef which I cooked off and again just put a little bit of that over there There you go. Some of the pine nuts, which are toasted around there. Then, importantly, some herbs. So I've got some mint, which I will put around there. There you go, and some parsley, which I will just chop up and put over there. I will also 
some fresh tomato, which goes really nicely on that. Some fresh tomato, some olive oil, and that is my pimped up hummus with vegetables, beef, fresh herbs, and some tomato. There you go. And just remember, dads can cook. There you go. Mm. Mm, great. See you soon. Bye -bye.